love of America and for the love of every mother's son. Those engine rooms would be white with that asbestos when we were moving those pipes. And he said, here, we come home, we took our clothes home to our wives, and not knowing you know, what it was, and not knowing until, you know, years later either. At Hunter's Point, on board ship, there was no protection. Us pipe fitters and the pipe covers, nothing. They didn't need it. That was not dangerous. As far as the government was concerned, it was not dangerous at all. And that was up till 73 at, at Hunter's Point when they closed it. Over four million shipyard workers were exposed to asbestos during World War II, and they were not alone. Evidence of the known dangers of asbestos had been actively suppressed. It was not until 1964 when Dr. Irving Selikoff and his associates published a study of the Asbestos Insulators Union in Patterson, New Jersey, that the true story of the asbestos tragedy began to reach the light of day. And there were 632 members who paid dues in 1943. And we simply tracked every one of them down to 1963. And we calculated how many should have died of all causes, of cancer, of lung cancer, of whatever, uh, by 1963. And what we found was a disaster a disaster that is still with us. Once Selikoff began to speak out against, uh, about the biological hazards of asbestos in the, in the middle 1960s, uh, he was attacked by industry. They raised the question of, wouldn't, shouldn't they speak to the trustees at Mount Sinai so that they could keep me quiet? And um, uh, shouldn't they speak to the AMA? They could do this because so many of his colleagues in the medical profession would not stand up and be counted. None of these people ever said a word about asbestos until it was so safe to do so that it was that the problem had long been resolved by hundreds of thousands of people dying of incurable lung disease. If not for Dr. Selikoff, I don't think I'd be sitting here today. Because at one point, all I thought was a safe workplace meant having decent ladders and de decent uh, uh, weight on the draft coming out of the ship. Uh, and not being rushed uh, to work too fast. Uh, how would I have known that the asbestos that I was working on could kill me? We look at statistics, but we all know statistics are human beings with the tears wiped away. 